Hey guys, it's Danny, and for today's 101, we are finally covering Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are part of the cruciferous family. They look like these little baby heads of cabbage, but don't let that fool you because they are packed with nutrients. They are anti-inflammatory, high in antioxidants, and stuffed with vitamins, including A, C, E, and K. And like all veggies, they are high in nutrients and low in calories. So one cup of Brussels sprouts is only gonna run you about 35 calories. Now usually you're gonna see them at the grocery store just like this, cut off the stem. But every now and then, especially around the holidays, you may find them still attached to the stem. This is gonna mean that they are in season and absolutely delicious, so it's a great time to give them a try. When you're shopping for Brussels sprouts, you wanna look for firm, compact heads, and the leaves should be nice and tight. As for color, beautiful, bright, vibrant green. It's also a good idea to try to find Brussels sprouts that are equal in size. This way when you cook them, they'll cook evenly and you don't need to worry about messing around with cooking times. When you get the Brussels sprouts home, you wanna put them into a plastic bag. If you have a plastic bag from the grocery store, that would be perfect. Squeeze out all the air, then wrap the bag nice and tight around the Brussels sprouts. Pop it into the fridge, and if you do it this way, they will last you a good 10 days. Once you're ready to work with your Brussels sprouts, you just wanna give them a rinse under some cold water. And if the leaves are nice and tight the way they should be, you really don't need to worry about too much dirt getting on the inside of the Brussels sprouts. So rinsing the outside like this gets the job done. As for preparation, they're actually extremely easy. All you need to do is trim off the very tip of the stem, the part that looks dried up here. And then if there's any loose or discolored leaves towards the bottom, just pull those off as well. Now, you certainly can cook them whole, but I like to cut them in half lengthwise, and if I really wanna speed up cooking time, I'll even quarter them. As for cooking Brussels sprouts, they love to be steamed, sauteed, and roasted, but there's two important things you wanna keep in mind. One, don't over oil them, because they'll continue to absorb the oil, and then they're gonna end up really greasy. And two, don't overcook them. This is why people don't like Brussels sprouts. Think of making Brussels sprouts like you would a good pasta. You want it to be al dente. So, tender on the outside with a little bit of bite in the middle. One of my favorite ways to make them is to quarter them up, pop them into a steamer basket for five minutes, then I transfer them to a bowl, add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, the juice from half a lemon, two cloves of minced garlic, a pinch of kosher salt, and some black pepper. Toss that all together and you've got a quick, simple, clean and delicious bowl of Brussels sprouts that is perfect for any night of the week. Mm. Sometimes it's the most simple things that are the most delicious. And for those of you who like to get creative, Brussels sprouts love to be paired with bacon, apples, fresh thyme, vinegar, and lemon. So pick a flavor and see what kind of clean and delicious Brussels sprout recipe you can come up with. And don't forget to come back and tell me all about it down in the comments below. For more simple and nutritious recipes, tips, and ideas, be sure you come on over to cleananddelicious.com where you can print all the recipes, save your favorites right to your very own personal recipe box, and subscribe to my newsletter. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time with another Ingredient 101. Brussels sprouts are part of the cruciferous Family. Brussels sprouts are a part of the cruf They're available all year wrong. They're available all year wrong. Oh my god.